It sounds like you don't care about the finish of this board, Sierra. <laughs> that's that's what it really sounds like. So lift, so lit, bro. I love tech tuber. I hate you. Hi, I never do this. Oh, <laughs> hell, I, hold on. I gotta finish this board before I watch this. I'm already raging. Good one. Good job, Velvet. You triggered me. You triggered me with literally one minute, with literally five minutes to, to midnight. God damn. I thought I was gonna. All right. All right. Everyone ready? We're not even a second in and I'm already triggered. Hi, I never do this, but due to the way this whole situation behind these switches unfolded, this first run packaging is likely to become a collector's item, which means the pre-sales are probably gonna sell out really fast. So the TLDR for this video today, these switches in stock form, eh, they've got some opportunities, but if you're willing to- lose What does that, opportunities? Opportunity? <laughs> what does that mean? Opportunity for what? For literally what? What did he mean by this? This guy has to be trolling, right? This is a troll. This is shit switch. Just say it's a bad switch. Cause because you could say this with every switch. Every switch has the opportunity to be good. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> These things, they're legit. Super legit. My only real critic What does legit mean? Hold on. Uh, I forgot this is since since we're we're here. I gotta I gotta make myself bigger so it's more reacty. Okay, I'm reacting. I'm reacting. Okay. Let me let me fix the position of my camera so I can react better. Okay, I do this for you guys. Uh, okay. <clears throat> All right, better. I'm reacting better now. All right, there's, there's some gap, but, uh, uh, okay, there, okay. All right, are you guys ready to react? Criticism being that there's some stim wobble there, the tolerances could be a little tighter on. These are like three things that make a shit switch shit. Nah, so don't let me hold you up. Pause me, go over there, get your pre-order taken care of, and then come back and watch. Wow, can you just say you're fucking simping for the Switch already? Fuck you. What if, like, how untransparent do you want to be? Just say, hey, I'm clearly selling Switches for you. Man, fuck this guy. It's the rest of the video. I'll wait. We good? Uh, I'll. Great. Is this close enough? Hold on, wait. Hi, guys. I never do this, but if you go to keysrestle.ca right now, you can buy stabs. Now, there's a little bit of wobble, but that's nothing. Lube can't fit. They have so much potential! Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start the show. Oh man, what a serious situation. I don't think I've seen anything cause this much drama at this scale in the keyboarding community since I started this channel. I'll put a link down in the description from a statement recently from Glorious' his own CEO talking about all the recent events about the name and the trademark drama and which way they decided to go with that. So we don't have to dedicate any of today's review to addressing any of that stuff and can instead just talk about the quality, the performance, and the value of the Switch itself. I really wanted to do a comparison to the Drop Panda as well, but this is gonna sound like a joke or like a little jab at Drop. It's not, but they've been delayed again till the end of September, so I couldn't get my hands on those. It's also worth noting here too- Wow, big YouTuber couldn't get their hands on it. Good. For some of you more skeptical viewers out there, that I have affiliate agreements with both Glorious and with Drop. So you're gonna get a real deal take on anything I have to Can I get some ones in chat for doubts? Can I get some X's in chat to doubt? Can I get some fucking X's? To say about the situation yes. because I have skin parodies. in the game either way. You have skin? What game? What? Can I get some? Who? Who? What do you mean skin in the game? You're a YouTuber. Fuck off. You could literally go to anyone else. You could literally just fucking make a YouTube channel reviewing any other fucking piece of tech and you'd be fine. Fuck off. Fuck, don't say, no, this isn't true. This isn't true. Skin in the game, like what do you mean? You're gonna lose your sponsorship? You could just review a different product. You could just go do a different hobby. Like these aren't, this isn't true. This isn't true. Okay, sorry. I like I I don't like these claims because they're just they just don't make any sense. 
Your Jay Leno demeanor is lit right now. Thank you. Thank you. I like to have a solid chin because big chins make big money, okay? I do happen to have some real deal polar pandas in house today, though, so you'll still get the comparison that you came for. You ready? Let's go! Why does he zoom in more? His face is already like 90% of the video. I mean, maybe this is an editing thing. I, I forgot that for normal YouTubers, um, zoom in means funny. I literally forgot about this because I haven't watched like review or review, like these kinds of YouTube channels in a long time. I forgot that they literally think that zooming in on face equals big funny. Like it's like they don't want to do their own, like, like this is, it, guys, press one of you think this is funny. Let's check it out. Like, come on, man. I can't. Ugh. Ugh. All right, this is fine. I think uh, a lot of work goes into these shots, so eh, this is fine. He zoomed in again. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on, let's watch it together. Isn't this, like, black marks here? This I can see. Is this what is this black stuff? Also, way to stretch this video to be twelve minutes. Okay, guys, literally there was. What is this? A minute. Well, let's see how long this B-roll goes. Wow, he really stretched that shot for four seconds. I we we watched it. We watched it right here. Two, three, four, five. Five seconds here. I don't know why you'd want this. Wait, let's see how long. Will we make it to the two minute mark before he actually. Yo, I'm Brian P. You're what? Okay, it's actually a minute 57 before there's actual content at all in this video. Man, if you're not trying to push this fucking review, man. Chimbad, man. Chimbad. Dude, why can't people be like Dave2D? Just talk about the product. Just move. Just talk about the product. Just fucking start. Fuck your dumb, like two second intro, five, five second intro on special days. That's it. Today we're taking a look at the glorious holy pen. Oh, sorry, the glorious panda switches from glorious. P ah, nice meme, trademark meme. Ha 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 You wasted another four second. Good job. D gaming race. So this is glorious's first effort at a switch of their own. The packaging you see oh, today I have will still feature the holy panda name. Yeah, I turned on ad block just for this video. Okay, that you little did you know, but when I switched uh, browsers to come back, or when I switched. Scenes to come back to this. I, I turned on the ad blocker. After the first run, it will not. It will change to the glorious. Yeah. What's funny is that Glarsis has less B-roll and can still make most more people laugh and enjoy the review than this shit. Panda, hit that link in the description. Hey, Glarsis, if you want to partner, like I'm right here, by the way. For the post about why that wasn't well received by the community and how Glorious chose to handle that situation. These will retail for $24.99 and are available only in 36 packs, making costs right at 70 cents per switch. Compare that to Drops offering available in 70, 90, and 110 packs, with prices ranging from $121 per switch to $114, depending on how many you buy. The pack size is a little curious, as you'll generally need two packs to cover pretty much everything. Even a 40% needs at least 40 switches. Two packs will cover you all the way through a 60 Okay, so admit it. Say this is a scam. Nobody uses switches in intervals of 35. This is bullshit. They should have just sold switches in 10 packs at that point. Or 20 packs. Like a real fucking number. Not this dumbass shit. I no, no, like, my thing is, I don't, like, the switch could be great. Okay, it just, does, just really doesn't make any sense that, like, you sold them in 35s. It's kind of really weird. He should, he should be like, hey... He, he even almost, he was so close. He was so close to making fun of it. He was like, oh, they sell them in 35s. And the shittiest part is you always have to buy more than two packs. Or like at least two packs. Well, say that it sucks then. Say that I wish they didn't do this. If you're gonna, if you're gonna pretend to be like impartial or critical, use 35 packs, shut the fuck up. I'm literally, you're, you're toxic. That's bullshit, okay? Um, but seriously, um... 35 pies of keywords true um yeah like this is like such a big problem like you were so close to actually being making a real critical point but then you're like hi it wasn't a problem so it's like then you're just saying nothing anything no what well, macro pad has 35 switches or intervals of 35 north of that you'll need 
like the ROM M six C has six switches. Other numpads don't use thirty six. Don't use intervals of thirty six. Not that I'm aware of. I need three packs. That'll cover you for seventy five TKL in full size. At first glance, I thought this was just some trickery to dick you into buying an extra pack of switches. Oh, he almost. You only needed a few more to get where you're going. But based on the fact that a TKL uses eighty seven, and three packs comprises a hundred and eight switches. I don't think it's as convenient as having 10 pack purchasing options, obviously, but it's not the dick move that I thought it was. What do you mean? He, he did it again. He was so close. He was like, oh my God, it's so close. We're so close to a real. F he, he was so close. He was so close to actually being really critical about it. And he just dropped. He's like, oh, but it's not that bad. Just buy two. You never got to the, like, you never refuted the whole problem that you pretended to talk about. You like skirted around the issue and you just never, you were never critical about it. So Holy Panda itself is one of the most confusing concepts to newcomers and one of Wrong. the- Wrong. It's not confusing. You're wrong. If, if a new person can't get that one plus two equals three, okay? Like that you could add two different things and then they become a third different thing. The most expensive for enthusiasts. Did you know that actually here's, here's a wild, crazy concept. AMD boards with NVIDIA graphics cards are some of the most confusing builds for new PC, custom PC builders because mixing NVIDIA and AMD when traditionally AMD and Intel go together, like, like or NVIDIA and Intel go together, like, what the fuck are you saying? What the fuck are you, what are you saying? You're, what the fuck? The original real holy pandas comprised of the housing, the leaf, and the spring from the beast. No. All right, we made the number go down. Son Jesus switch created by Envir, a person. It didn't really get rave reviews on its own, but when somebody popped in the tact. Um. Uh. I don't even know what to say about this. Still stem from the Halo True. Did you do this in post review just to get just because you're new, you're about to get shit on? Okay. Cult Classic was born. The only real problem being. Wait, where's my boy Mac Twenty Seven though? Where's my boy Twenty Seven? You had to buy two switches to create one and that's where the high cost came into play because the tooling the hot or mold used to make that original switch housing was presumed okay lost or destroyed it created a more it was damaged it was never destroyed they even said it was damaged it for copycat housings and one of the biggest unsolved mysteries of the keyboard scene as we Unsolved tonight on Unsolved Mysteries. Except we exactly know. I'm getting triggered. That's what's happening right now. Invert was an inside job. Okay. Oh my god. Stand today. Drop. Okay, we gotta play this back. Actually, you know what? I'm turning on captions. So create one, and that's where the high cost came okay, in. Almost because the basically tooling true. or mold used to make that original switch housing was presumed lost or destroyed. It created. a market for copycat housings in one of the Inver literally didn't <sighs> imagine saying like hey I lost a car or it was destroyed good one you did the double take where you did the double self take Yo, Disco, yeah, dude, he almost criticized when they were in 30. We're going to go back. I'm going to rewatch this video. I can, ask, I can almost react to this twice. As we stand today, Drop owns the Halo True and Clear stems, some version of whatever switch housing, and allegedly a royalty to Envir for use of the name. This Where's my boy 27? Where's his royalty? Never, oh, everyone always forgets Canadians. Are Canadians the most forgettable people? Just like how people forgot m my holy panda burning.
stem is legit, but the housing is sus, so it's not really a true holy panda. The glorious version. Yeah, it's because I moved. Sorry, sorry, Jugo. And allegedly uses the original B Sun tooling to create the house. The original B Sun. <laughs> original. Original. <laughs> and leaf modified for their logo, but a different stem since Drop owns the rights to the Halo stuff. So. It's not really a true holy panda either, which is just one Original. reason why people got bent at the use Nobody of the name, is bent. especially Nobody when they is tried bent. to trademark it. Again, see that link in the description. Which one is the more accurate representation of the- Nobody cares! <laughs> nobody cares about this! Literally nobody cares! Be <laughs> The original- Stop sharing. Okay, sorry. You have a microphone for a reason. Okay. Into the microphone. Yeah, I am. Are you trying to sleep? Okay, I'm sorry. Holy Panda is the stuff of legend, <laughs> speculation, and opinion. I'm not here today to solve that mystery. It's important to know, too, that most plastic manufacturers, switch manufacturers, are not real keen on the idea of revealing their specific formula. Ooh. We literally got the unironic... Formula. ...they use for their plastic compounds. So do do we really think do we really really genuinely think that the housing plastic was special that's my question do we really no i didn't get told to shut the fuck up you shut the fuck up i'll hold on wait <laughs> where's my oh there it is <sighs> come on guys we don't believe this right there's really no way so everything we're going to look at today for the glorious switch is based on the assumption that they're being forthright about the fact that they do have the original molds and the type of plastics. You so you're taking an assumption. So you don't know. Okay. So, like... <sighs> I'm going to get bent so I don't yell. Okay, so... You have to make an assumption after telling me that nobody knows. But then you're also going to try to sell me on the Switch. That they do have the original molds and the this type of plastics used yes. in their construction. So we have a beige colored housing similar to an NK blueberry or a cream. The top shell is polycarbonate, bottom shell is nylon PA66. Ooh, he read it off. He read it off the chart. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> we need to take the whole line back to form. <laughs> okay. Leaf is copper from Japan. Melly Streams, hello. And spring is 67 gram stainless with nickel pl Oh my god, he's reading he's literally polycarbonate god. bottom shell is nylon PA sixty six. Leaf is copper from Japan. Oh. Spring is copper from Japan. Okay. If this was if this was iron, I would make fun of him because, like, iron from Japan is pretty trash. He's but he's reading the website. He's reading the website. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. He's reading the spec sheet. Okay, I'm gonna sit all the way over here so I can yell into the mic instead of at my girlfriend. Is 67 gram stainless with nickel plate from you know people actually a lot of people in in the keyboard community don't give a fuck about material if it feels good and sounds good nobody gives a single f unless it's the keyboard itself because we all love brass founder edition okay from korea in the state wow korea and japan wow two asian countries guess oh and you're gonna tell me the factories in china too them is palm from japan they ship Did you know, because plastics are a man-made thing, because it's literally a chemical polymer, that if it is originating from a different country, the quality changes? It's not, you, you does the Google auto thing. Dry, not lubed, which we'll talk about in just a couple minutes. As I said, the drop version of these switches are delayed again, so the closest comparison I have in-house is a polar panda. Wrong. This is not the closest comparison. Fuck you. These are a yoke panda housing, a clone of the original beast on housings, with a legit halo clear stem lubed with 205 grade zero and a 60 gram spring. Looking at- It's okay, how can you compare them if you've- 
Stem for stem, we've got more play or stem wobble on the glorious panda. Wow, that's actually actually okay. Okay, actually, this is the only thing I do like. This is actually something he did right. He got the angle that shows how crazy wobble the stem. Because here's the thing, you actually can't fix stem wobble. It's actually almost impossible. It's very hard to fix stem wobble. This is some. This is this is fine. I'm okay with this. Look, see, I'm actually unbiased, so credit where credit's due. I would have liked to seen some tighter tolerances here. They are consistent in that the stem does not depress. It's fully flush with the top of the housing, and we which is literally a flaw of the holy panda because the housings don't match. <laughs> this is a little like a problem. <laughs> I, I've met people who, well, I know people who clip the the feet, the legs of the switch so that it depresses all the way. This is this is not a feature. <laughs> This is like a dog shit problem. We can see that there is some difference in the shape of the leg that gives each switch its tactility. Glorious is very upfront about this too, noting in their words, less pre-travel for the tactile bump to occur. Okay, this is some marketing bullshit. I, because like, I don't care if it's less, if it's not less than Zelios, then it doesn't matter. Or in a stronger upward stroke. In practice, I do find both of these to be true, but with the- Did you know? Yeah. Caveats. I only have ethically sourced palm from Japan. Spring weight is a touch higher on the glorious. That's apparent. How sharp and where that tactility occurs is obvious if you're auditing these. Like you're looking for the difference. It doesn't jump out at me when I'm just typing. And hey. the heavier handed you type. Instead of uh, <clears throat> instead of like showing real things that could tell you the difference, I'm just going to tell you that they do feel different. But I'm not going to show something realistic with data, like a you know a force curve graph. But I'm also not going to tell you. Yeah, this one feels different from the other. I'm just going to say, say shit. Yeah, I'm not going to show any force curve graphs, even though they totally exist. Type, the less apparent this is going to be. I'm going to say that the polar pandas have like a sharper, snappier tactility, while the glorious is more of a smoother tactility. While some people... What does smoother tactility mean? That just means less tactility. That just means the bump... Oh, God. That just means the bump is less... It's just less apparent may prefer to have the lube done for them at the factory i think shipping them dry is the right move there are issues with factory lube consistent application being the most common the other is them shipping with lube that's not the viscosity that you would personally choose so if you find yourself in a situation where you have to break down all those components and clean them first before you start to lube that sounds like a nightmare and it is something the previous owners of the drop pandas have been vocal about in the past that okay this is totally this is totally disingenuous i think this is incredibly disingenuous can i get on call with you uh, yeah, let me finish this one point first, okay. Now, I do agree that people in the hobby, like a, a very experienced people in the hobby who have ultrasonic cleaners and are willing to do the work to clean it, do complain about how inconsistent factory lube is. That is true. We do complain about this. But to the average person who, who buys this, even if they re-lube, most people don't fucking wipe it. Most people don't fucking clean it. Most people wipe it off with their own brush or they mix other lube on it. This is totally fucking not true. This is completely bullshit. Most people, like, only very, very vocal, very experienced people will bitch about pre-lubed, okay? And then, therefore, you know, normies down below will then com com will complain about it. But, like, there, I, I have serious doubts this is a fair comparison. Because there's also going to be people who are going to buy these holy, the glorious pandas, and then not give a fuck and not lube them. Look at you, Pudsy. Pudsy won't fucking lube them. Come on. This is like totally, this is totally not fair. That okay. said, I think- All right, I'm, I'll, I'll hop, I'll hop on a call. Oh my God, what do you want? <clears throat> Wait. Okay, let's get on a call. Okay. Hello. Yo. Hello. What's good? Can everyone hear you? Can I hear you? You, I can hear you. I can't hear you in the call. <gasps> there you Wait. go. Okay, one sec. Oh. Hello? Okay, now I can hear you. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. I left push talk on. I was going to say, I have, as someone who built original Holy Pandas, I, I kind of know how that process went, <laughs> so I might as well jump in and give you my two cents. Yeah, hit me up. Um, 
the poor stock lubing was never really an issue on the original uh, Panda Switch run. Wait, sorry, say again. So, when Inverse sold the original Panda Switches, yeah, the inconsistent factory lube was never an issue. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Very interesting. It was, it was only drop. when Drop took over, right? And when yoke housings were, were sold. Hmm. Look at that. History. And also, him comparing a lubed... Polar Panda. Polar Panda that's been lubed with 205, and those Polar Pandas in particular were a batch that had really bad, inconsistent <laughs> factory lube. Like, some of the switches were kind of just drenched in it. Not that bad, but it was pretty bad. Um, yeah. I means bet. that I... <laughs> it's not an accurate comparison i'm pretty i guarantee you that the polar apprentice he got unless he lived it himself so i don't know i have a feeling they could be purchased aftermarket by some guy who over who like lubed on top of it with 205 well that's what i'm gonna say is most people probably did lube over it with yeah. 205 whether he did it himself well, a lot of or people don't realize else. that a lot of switches on the aftermarket or like you know in switch in keyboards are probably over lubed like as in like lubed on top of factory lube and people just don't oh, want yeah. to acknowledge it i mean i I will freely admit that my first set of holy pandas that I lubed, luckily they turned out pretty okay, despite the fact that I put too much lube in them. They had too much lube in them, but I know <laughs> what they feel like when yeah, they're yeah, yeah. not over lubed because I have some dry ones. I have like a couple left before I sold them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta finish this video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for I coming just... on. All right, no worries, yeah. buddy. Bye bye. Bye. All right, we're gonna finish this video, I promise. The glorious pandas need to be lubed to get the most out of their smoothness and more. So, when we hear the words, um, when we hear the things need to be okay, there's a lot of people who say, and I'll agree with this, that JW case switches don't need lube because, like, inherently they're very, very smooth. Um, they do need film because they're kind of wobbly. So, when he says something like they need to be lubed that doesn't that actually isn't <laughs> that's actually not a plus that's not a potential plus either because unlike jwk switches where you can say lube adds like texture or adds good sound or feeling this is really really misleading right to compare a good switch like this so like when you say like a lot of people can use zeal switches stock that is a viable option like you don't need lube for them But um, yeah, this is like kind of this is kind of whack on his part to say something like this. Like it is uh, it is possible to loop to to not loop switches. I don't know why he's fucking coming down here. Oh no, my girl was just telling me she's gone to bed. More importantly, their acoustics. Without lube, the spring. Can I? <laughs> hey, police! Hey, police! Police! What am I looking at? crunch and ping is really obvious there is some scratch there too the lubing negates that and it gets you that coveted dark sound these <gasps> who lives who, who lives springs like this I, i've seen i what i jeff a lot of people lube like that because people like this are on YouTube. It is your duty to tell them not to lube like that. Okay. Okay, there's like 500 takes here. <clears throat> One. Do you remember earlier, literally 40 seconds earlier, he was on all about copper from Japan. Okay. Plated from Korea plastic from japan and then now he's like you can really hear the spring crunch it really fucking sucks it's really noticeable you have to lube it to negate it homie there's like 250 there are two dollar fifty switches in packs of 10 that you can get where the loop where the spring doesn't crunch or or the leaf doesn't have spring ping either what the f keone just use Keone, you're big enough. 
You're a big boy. Okay, either... Either you get one of these, okay? Or you just bag loop, like a fucking normal human being. But, but definitely, but... But definitely not. Hey, and if you guys want 106, head on over to keyspresso.ca. Get some 106. 106 is in stock. Thank you. Comes in 10 mil, 5 mil, sorry, 5 mil bottles. So it's good for a lot of switches, a lot of springs, okay? I haven't even finished my own personal bottle, and I've lubed, conf I have over 300 confirmed lubes, lubed springs, okay? That. And it gets you that coveted thock sound. These still get. Okay, Leaving Springs also doesn't give you the coveted thock sounds. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Get close to that sound without lube, but to really deliver. You can't get close. How do you get close without lube? It's either there or it's not. This is misleading. The goods you need to lube these. The glorious panda housing is. What did he mean by that? Late mount, which means it. Did I, am I watching a 12-minute ad? I definitely am. Two additional stabilizer pins. The GMMK hot swap board is geared to accept these as well as the polar pandas. It's important to note that the. Wait, it's keyspresso.ca. Please. Okay, but come on, customer support, please. What did he mean by this? Here, let's read this again. It lacks the stabilizer pins. Our board is geared to accept these. Which it's geared to accept. It, no, no, no. This board isn't geared to accept these switches. It's just a choice. It was a bad choice. These as well as the polar pandas. It's important to note that the glorious pandas. Just say it's not fucking five pin and it's like, come on. This can be used in any keyboard that has a plate, like the drop. <laughs> It's geared to first. It's geared to not accept all switch. It's geared to accept a very dying subset of keyboard switches. But two, did you know <laughs> that three pin can be done, can be mounted to anything with a plate? I've not look here, guys. You know these people exist. I don't like them. Okay, I don't agree with them, but they exist. There are people out there with plateless holy panda builds, and if you if you pretend that this subset of people don't exist you're you're wrong you're wrong you're a piece of shit people do plateless vent blacks which are three pin don't lie stop lying not only are you not lying you're wrong there's nothing hate more than when people are wrong because of ignorance what did, what's wrong? Oh, you! I, I couldn't do the research. I didn't know the, 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 that evidence was hidden in Geek Hack. I, I couldn't have browsed the, the website for more than 20 minutes. <clears throat> Sorry. No, no, no. Okay, don't get me wrong. Three pin switches on playlist build? I don't think it's that great, okay? I don't think it's that great. But it does exist. It is compatible okay but to say some dumb shit like three pin switches work on any keyboard with a plate you're being disingenuous just say just say they work on keyboards okay i don't i don't like it either don't get it wrong i don't like three pin without a plate don't get it wrong okay but it exists and to not acknowledge it you're being a piece of shit keyboards or the GMMK or the NK yeah, also yeah you can clip five pins to three pins so I don't know what the fuck he's talking about 65 entry which I like to use for testing because it's a polycarb case and the dampening is very good I can't believe I ranted for like three like almost two minutes to almost to like make fun of the point but like his next point is is just as dumb holy shit what the fuck is this fucking stand up Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this stand. Okay. Hold on. Oh, is it warped? <laughs> he did he tighten it too much? Oh no. I can't look at that, okay. Okay. Great. Now here's another hot take. Okay. Yeah, it's warped it's fucked. Here's another hot take. I like K65. testing on the NK sixty five one because it's plastic. And two entry which i like to use for testing because it's a polycarb case and the dampening is very good none of these reasons are why 
it makes it a good testing case. First of all, the majority of keyboards are not polycarbonate, even if they were plastic. Two, why the fuck would dampening make it a good testing board? The fuck are you saying? You want a board that's completely consistent with its noise. Even if it was loud, it'd be better, because at least if it was loud, it'd be consistently loud. Why the fuck would you say polycarb? What? I... What? Why would dampening make for a good sound test? I don't understand. What does that even mean? Yeah, he definitely said, at least he said that the material was right. He, oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, Novel Key's probably sent him with the board, so of course he's gonna say that. Now, Novel Key's, if you're watching, I'm not saying your board is bad, I'm just saying his reasons for saying why the board is a good reference board doesn't make sense, because he didn't even try to justify it. The other thing is, if he did try to justify it, at least he's backing up his claim, instead of being a spineless fuck. I'm great, I'm really glad people have Gat Browns for reference, even though Gat Browns are very uncommon. Good job. Also, I don't know if it's stock or looped. Good job. Also, it's in a low profile case. Even better job. Wait, for someone who has. Th Thank you, Gringo. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, second of all, for someone who has this much good camera shit, like a lot of good camera work, I'll admit it. I find it strange that when he types, the camera shakes and that his keyboard has to be shot at an angle. Look. You can see the frame shaking. Is it is the camera mounted to the desk? You couldn't get a st Also, what happened to Also, what happened to I that cuz he didn't he say earlier that he types Corb King. He really did it. He really, he really did it. He really did a glorious panda stock versus polar panda lubed. He really did it. He really did it. He really did compare lubed polar pandas versus. Yeah, I moved. Yeah, I moved. Why is his stab still rattly? That's the real question. After making a video, top five hacks that you can do for your keyboard, how does stab still like, sound like dog? Wait, you guys hear this, right? I'm gonna crank it up when we get to the... I know it's play mount, but like... It makes a good reference. Hey, I know. And if it's plate mount, why doesn't he get a better reference board? Normies! Like, did you see how hear how different this, the, the shift and enter were? Did you hear that? <laughs> or wait. Oh my god, I'm dying! Okay, now I can understand why you want to do this, but holy shit, this is such a bad comparison. There are, I know for a fact, there's, a, there's another mounting screw quite close to this cluster, but not in the center. I also know that doing a low profile sound test you know, not within a same, not being a surrounded cluster as as a reference is also really bad. This doesn't tell you anything, right? Because like this switch, what is it, left, right, up and down, don't have the same surrounding switches. How the fuck would, like the, the frequency would never be the same because they don't attach to the same things. How how could you do that? This is just wrong. Like, like this doesn't even make sense. Like you'd, you'd be better off like picking like JKL. Like, why not just pick JKL? It's a hot swap board. Like, it, it, come on, you could do that. Yeah, they're also on the corner of the... Oh, finally, he did it. Wait! How... 
how come he did JKL here but not in the other video? It's almost like he took the advice from someone else like mid-filming. Also, why wasn't the typing test on this board if it was a reference board? Oh, here it is. Okay, we're back. Okay, is he really? He did it. He did it. He really did it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna say like the the lubed the lubed polar pandas sound better. I mean, like it is what it is. Yeah, the polar pandas sound better with. Why, why, what is this? Why is this switch here? Why are we comparing the C3 Kiwi? Why is this here? What? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. This isn't like... I feel like I learned more from burning all five of these switches than, 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 than seeing this video. I feel like I learned more about the switch burning every single, all five of these next to each other. To get the most out of these. I was honestly shocked. I... Okay, ready? So like I said, lubing is essential to... Like I said, moving is essential. <clears throat> uh, can you link it? Yeah, hell yeah, I can link it this red. Oh, I'm linking. <sighs> okay, okay, we can make it. I only got a couple more minutes left in the video, okay. To get the most out of these, I was honestly shocked at how close they come in sound profile to a proper panda. In the Okay, so you admit that they're not a proper panda. How, okay. How can you say in the beginning of your video that this is true to the material, true to the mold, and all this other jazz, and all of this talk, and then admit, you know, also admit the force curve is different without trying the force curve, but then also say that it's not, it comes close. Like, what does it actually mean? I, I don't, you're just, like, this is just words, right? This is like, this is literally word vomit. Like, the thing is, I wish I was this talented at word crafting, wordsmithing, is that what we call it? Because I have no idea how I would ever write this sentence and then not believe, and then like, n and then like read it and be like, yeah, this is good for film. I, I would, I would, okay, I have to give him credit for, for being able to write this, because there's no way I could write a script and say this. With the ABS caps, I still think the Polar Panda takes it. Oh my god. Telling me a switch sounds good with a particular plastic? With ABS caps? Oh my god. And the GMMK with PBT, Wait, I would be it? really... Yeah, I know, the space is rattling, Melly Street. Okay, I've got the headline. Pedro Pascal joins Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. Do you need the space is rattling because of this shit? <laughs> okay. Okay. Hard pressed to tell the difference, and in a blind test, both my girlfriend and my brother picked the glorious as having the better sound profile. I think no matter how people that I could uh, possibly have on my payroll because I bring in the most money because of my viewership, my GF, my brother, they're unbiased, quite like myself, being sponsored by Glorious and Drop. Now, hear, hear me out, Glorious, if you want to sponsor me. Or semi switches. I don't mind. I just don't like this guy's review. I I don't have any opinion on your switches actually. I just think this guy's a piece of shit liar. How you slice that? That's really high praise for a switch coming in at seventy cents. And if no, that's really bad praise for a switch that has unfixable wobble in the stem has a crunchy spring according to this guy because i you know i actually don't know because i don't own any of these switches but according to this guy like a spring ping spring crunch uh stem wobble uh scratchy sound 
needs emphasis on needs lube three pin 70 cents US ah, man you're really pushing it you're really pushing high price here this bar is pretty low I mean I've seen bars I, I mean what was where's that where's that Futurama clip Where was it? Where was the hello you can go thing from Futurama? Oh man, I can't do it. I can't find it right now. If you saw the review on the Kiwis and that higher pitch sound profile isn't for you, these will definitely fit the bill. Did you just really throw me a different ad in the middle of an ad? Kiwis and that higher pitch sound profile isn't for you, these will definitely fit the bill. A couple of- Yeah, if you, honestly, just go and just go for some. Other well, things to take into consideration is that these will affect the overall aesthetic of your board if you're using a floating switch or a low profile frame. False. Wrong. They're not clear tops, obviously. They do have a pass through hole in the switch to allow the LED to light the character. I don't and they also even do still this. throw some RGB on the yeah, board Steve itself, Burke is but not as much this. as we see in a clear top switch. Most people won't care about this, but it's important to point out if you're super into RGB. How are you. Okay. I don't understand how you're this critical about the fucking RGB, but you weren't critical about literally anything else. How are you critical about the RGB, but you weren't critical about the 30 switch, 35 packs of switch shit? At the end of the day, regardless of the legend and the mystique surrounding the original Holy Panda, what we- <laughs> Can I get a- can I get- can I get some mi mystique? Hello? Mystique? we have here is a tactile switch that gets dangerously close to a true panda wait okay wait hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. what we have here is a switch a tactile switch that gets <clears throat> dangerously cheesy Dan dangerously flavorful dangerously close to it what's a true panda is a true panda the glorious panda cuz i only know about holy panda I only know about holy pandas. I don't know what a true panda is. Is that a new variant? Is that like an unholy panda? Is that like an OG holy panda? Is that like a red panda? Is that like a mint panda? Is that a yolk trash panda? Is that a beeson panda? Is that a Jesus panda? Because I don't know what the fuck a true panda is. Both in feel and sound. Don't be a dog hot woman. Oh, it's no, limbo. I can't. Not after what happened. Hermes. I hear me just like you. No, boy, stop. It's too low. Your backbone can't take it. I'm just like Hermes. I'm just like... <laughs> no! Yeah, that bar down there, that's higher than this bar. Sound. And just in general is a really solid tactile, especially at this price point. I, I, I wish I said it out loud, actually. I, I was pausing because I was going to be like, he's going to say price point. And so this was just, this was just taking things from, this was just from his own video, okay? This isn't what I think about the, this isn't what I think about the Switch because I don't own one. I don't have a real review. But from his own video, Scratchy, Needs Loop, Stem Wobble. Sounds bad without loop. Pingy. Spring Crunch. That's five fucking flaws. <sighs> it can get you that thawk sound that a lot of us are chasing. Also, I have- No. Fuck you. If people like creams, they don't like thawks. I have to mention, I had zero quality control concerns with anything inside the three packs that Glorious sent out. D didn't you- Didn't you just- Didn't you just- Didn't he just show stem wobble in his own switch? Hold on. Wobble on the glorious panda. I would have liked to seen some tighter tolerances here. They are con Okay, dude. Sure. Alright, man. Alright. 
quality control concerns with anything inside the three packs that Glorious sent out. If they can maintain that level of QC and maintain consistent stock at this price point, it has the potential to be very disruptive to the market. And it's okay. For people who don't who aren't in the tech industry, this is like this is this is the ultimate meme. This is my favorite meme. This is like the oh, this is our competitor. They cover A. This is the other competitor. They cover B. Here's where we are. In the middle. The Venn diagram, okay? We're gonna disrupt the market. This is literally I can predict to you that this is literally what Uber said when they were pitching to their investors. Okay. We're we're gonna beat taxis and we're gonna beat car sharing by having ride sharing, and this is gonna be very disruptive to the taxi market. Like I, like I've heard the disruptive meme like too many times in my life, and this is this is not making it better. It's gonna be really interesting to see how Drop responds to this if they respond at all. It's my understanding that if you're watching this, the pre-sales are already live. So if you've watched all the way to this point, number one, thank you, and number two you probably missed out on the first run. I will have a review of the GMMK Ice White with its revisions out soon, as well as a head-to-head -head Okay, remember to spam Vint Keys because he owns a GMMK. Everyone, make sure that you insult Vint Keys for owning a GMMK. Make sure that people, you, he knows that he's supporting a bad, a bad faith actor in bad seed tech versus the drop holy panda switch just as soon as i can get my hands on some affiliate links down in the description for everything we looked at today. and that's it for this time i'm brian p thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button hit that sub button